Shalom, I'm Rabbi Jonathan Ginsberg. A video in the Great Jews series. This is Maimonides, the Rambam. He lived 1135 to 1204. He was called the Rambam because that stands for Rabbi Moses ben Maimon. He's buried in Tiberias and on his grave, which is a very must-see tourist stop, it says, from Moses to Moses, there was no one like Moses. From Moses of the Bible till Moses Maimonides. And of course, that may be a little overstatement, but he was really one of the great sages of all time. Well, first of all, he wrote a book called Morei Nevuchim, Guide for the Perplexed, which was a great philosophical work. You can find it in English, a really important work explaining Judaism to the world. But the main contribution he made was a book called the Mishnah Torah, or a series of 14 books. It's also by short title called the Yad, which means the hand, but it really is the Yud is 10 and 4, Dalit is 4, which equals 14, because there are 14 books. Really, until him, there was no systematic code of Jewish law. You had the Talmud with its 63 volumes and discussions of the Gemara and the Mishnah, and many of them with unresolved legal issues. And of course, between the end of the Talmud and Maimonides, hundreds of years, there were many people trying to determine Jewish law on various items. But Maimonides did was he took away all the stories, all the arguments, he decided what the law was, and codified it in an organized way so a Jew could pick up a book in a particular section and find what the halacha, the law was, in a particular way. Now, a lot of his colleagues at the time thought that that was very arrogant of him and they weren't happy with it, but over the course of time, it was very useful as the main code of Jewish law, brilliant work. In fact, there are some Jews still today that consider it the most important code. Uh, for many, the Shulchan Aruch, a couple hundred years later, replaced it, but the code by Maimonides is still one of the most important codes. And there are many, many beautiful and important sections in there, like Hilchot Deot, the laws of personal virtue, Hilchot Anim, the laws of the poor, Hilchot Shuva, the laws of repentance, and many, many others. His view of the Messiahs in the Book of Kings and mourning and various important, wonderful works. He also wrote the 13 guides or principles of the Jewish faith that are so well known, stipulating what the basic cardinal belief of Jews are. And that became a poem that we sing at the end of Friday night services called the Yigdal. Uh, Maimonides also commented on uh, many important other sacred texts. It's really very difficult to, uh, even, to, you can't overstate the significance that he's had in Jewish life. He was an Aristotelian, believed in the middle road for most virtues and uh, really the balance of life. He has advice on health. He was a physician, an important physician. That was his main job. Uh, Moses Maimonides, 1135 to 1204.